Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we are doing another tongue drum tuning video. Um, and since I now have the Idiopan Dominus and the Domina, um, one with 10 notes and one with eight notes, I'm gonna go ahead and show you both of them. <laughs> um, so you can kind of get an idea of how you might tune your Idiopan or if you have another tunable tongue drum, you can get some ideas from that. <laughs> So the one I'm going to show you today is called the Golden Gate Scale. Um, this one is interesting in that it's almost like not really a scale. <laughs> um, it does sort of have some Lydian flavor to it, but mostly it's sort of just two seventh chords smushed together, <laughs> which gives it a really unique and interesting sound. Um, I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and play... Um, the first seven chords so you can kind of hear what that sounds like so the golden gate is definitely uh, a scale that sits sort of on the major side um, it's a lot more cheerful and happy than some of the more meditative scales that you'll find but it has some really interesting little quirks in it <laughs> um, so i'm going to go ahead and improv for you for a little bit and you can sort of hear some of those unique and interesting little things. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the golden gate tuning on this Dominus drum. So we're going to start on tongue number one, and that's going to be an E. And just as a review, um, if you want to sharpen the note, so to make it higher, you're going to push that magnet towards the edge of the drum, and that's going to make it sharper. And if you want to lower your note, make it flatter, pull the magnet back towards the center of the drum. And we're just going to adjust that a little bit. It always takes a little bit of finagling to get it exactly right. So there we go. So tongue number one is an E. Tongue number two. <laughs> that's a G sharp on there. Tongue number three is going to be a B. So then you have that pretty major chord right there. Now on the dominus, because of the way the magnets work, um, I had to repeat the note 
B over here on tongue number four. But that's okay, because you can do some fun things with a repeated note. I kind of like that. And then tongue number five, we're going to make a D sharp. And that can also register as an E flat, in case that confuses you. Um, tongue number six is going to be E again. So that's our octave, E and E. Tongue number seven, we have an F sharp here. Then tongue number eight is going to be an A sharp, and that's probably going to register as a B flat, but that's okay, it's the same note. Tongue number nine, we have another E. I'm sorry, that's a B right there. And then tongue number ten is going to be a G sharp. And there you go. Now you have the Golden Gate Scale on your Idiopan Dominus. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to do it on the Domina. This one is a little bit more complicated. Um, you are going to have to use the advanced magnet pack to put an extra magnet on tongue number one, two, and six, because that is the only way to get the tongues low enough to have the right note, unfortunately. Um, so here we go. We're going to start with tongue number one. And that's going to be a G flat. It'll also register as an F sharp. That's okay. They're the same note. And tongue number two, this is a B flat. And tongue number three is going to be a D flat, which might register as a C sharp. That's okay. Now we've got our pretty major chord right there. On this one, tongue number four is going to be an F. Tongue number five is going to be a G flat. Again, that might show as an F sharp. That's okay. Tongue number six is an A flat or a G sharp. Tongue number seven is going to be a C. And then tongue number eight is another G flat or an F sharp. And normally I would like to have another B flat on the top, but since we've only got eight notes, um, we're gonna work with what we have on the domino. Hello everybody, and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you wanna click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.